What's happening guys, Safety Liner C2 here. I've got another first look for you. I don't think this is the first first look of this bus, but I've got another look. It's the first look on my channel, but whatever. Um, of this 2002 Bluebird All-American A3FE from Will M, the same guy who did that EF that I showed off not too terribly long ago, but um, I'm very excited to be looking at this because the A3 is one of my favorite Type D buses. It really is. So I'm really excited to be taking a look at this. And uh, yeah, as always, if you have any feedback uh, that you think needs to be brought up, throw it in the comments so that Will can see it. Um, he says it is in very, very extreme beta at the moment and need, and needs lots and lots of things. Some things don't work. Um, bus is private and he will be responding to some things in the comment section. So anyways, let's go ahead and take a look. First off, uh, right up front, I think we got a pretty good start here. I think the headlights maybe look a little bit too big. That could just be me. Um, but yeah, I think it, it, they look a little too big. Also, this little light right here, it kind of, I, I mean, I know it's boxy, but it just looks like a little too boxy. It almost looks like a wood texture on it, but, um, let's see, no Bluebird logo. That could just be state spec along with the streamer. Um, the stop sign, yeah, it looks a little faded and I, and it, Again, this could all just be intentional. This is all just things that I'm noticing upon, um, well, obviously, first look. But um, let's see. Maybe add some sort of, whatchamacallit, latch to the box. Battery box over here. Let's see. Everything else looks fine. Got our marker lights up here, which are pretty nice actually. Reflective lights, not reflective lights, reflectors. Uh, coming around to the back, these windows don't look right. I don't think there's something off about the back of this bus. It just looks a little weird to me. But uh, same thing with the door. As on the EF, it's a little inward, and again, all very early beta stuff, so that is not expected to be 100% perfect. While we're up there, let's take a look up here. We got a strobe light up here, our emergency exits. Yeah, but I think the windows just don't look right. Let's see. Otherwise, back over here, not too much going on. And yeah, so interesting thing on this bus is the doors. I'm gonna go ahead and hop on in, and I'll show you why they're so interesting. Let's let's go ahead, come right over here like this. All right, now maybe you have seen a couple jackknife doors in ROR. This is supposedly the first jackknife door in a Type D that opens like that. So, very cool. Um, you don't see too many jackknife doors in ROR. Uh, the first one was implemented way back, um, probably 2012, and they have come a long way since then. Uh, this looks a lot better than, than that. You can go back on the channel and find those older ones. Um, but yeah, anyways, red seats, very, very interesting choice. And I love the color. It really pops out, um, kind of the red accents, the red that I am aware of in bluebirds is a little bit darker, um, more towards kind of a maroon color, but I don't hate this color red either. Um, I think it would be kind of more, more that color than the brighter red color. So, and, and I'm just basing this off of, um, off of what I know from John's bus, because those are really the only red seats I've seen in person, but 
Um, anyways, not too much else going on up there on the ceiling. Got the dome lights, emergency exits. And let's take a look over here, which this is looking pretty completed and that steering feels responsive. But you can also see how the bus is swaying a little bit from not too much movement. Alright, anyways, let's take a look at the control panel. Oops. Let's see. This would be the correct style for 2002. This would have been around the time where they switch from this older style to a different... to the current style of switches. And the dash looks correct as well. Not seeing anything wrong with that. Let's see our gear selector. Heat and AC. And then the doghouse. So, uh, overall, the interior is a really good start. I uh, really, really like this red color. So, anyways, I think that's it. So, let's go ahead, turn on the bus, and see what we got. Well, that went on forever. Um, let's start it up. Okay, okay. I don't believe the parking brake is applied, so... That sounds really good. Let's rev it up. We've heard those sounds before. Alright. Let's go ahead, let's change the time a little bit. Turn on some lights. Lights look fine. There's still something off about the back. I think I think I, I noticed. I think it's the the signals on the back. They seem a little too high. That could. I think that's it. I think that's what it is. On some warning lights. Oops. There we go. Ah, an incandescent strobe. Interesting choice. Very interesting choice, actually. Uh, stop sign gets my approval for incandescent strobe. Alright, let's hop on the interior. Does the green pilot light turn on? Because I kind of hope it does. Like, I doubt it, but that would be cool. Alright, um, brights turn on, control 3. Oops, come on, I can't get the right thing. Control 3, oh, there we go, perfect. Okay, great. So that works. Um, windows work, control F1, F2, then 3 and 4, oops, there we go, it's F1, F3, F2, F4, another feature that I really like, um, dome lights, control 4, all of those work, perfect, beautiful, let's just check and see if we're missing anything else, do, 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 nothing, all right, Perfect. All right, let's go ahead, close the door, change the time back. All right, let's drive around a little bit, see what we got. Show my FPS too, I always forget to do that these first looks like let's see if my foot is on the gas right now wheel turned all the way all right I'm pretty sure I said this with the EF but this the driving is uh, pretty great there's a little slide just a little bit of a slide, but otherwise it's uh, 
handling pretty well. So thumbs up from the, or for that. Go ahead and check out our turning radius. You can see kind of right here how it's sliding. Maybe a little bit, you might be able to tell, but. Ah. Do, 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 do. Come up here. Ah. And begin turn now. That was pretty good. All right, come back over here, do a right turn. It seems that when I push, or when my foot is on the pedal and my wheel is turned, it slows down, but. All right, and begin turn now. Yeah, so that, that's that got to be fixed. Um, and I know it's not like you're going to be driving with the wheel all the way cranked left or cranked right. But, you know, it's just like my foot is on the pedal right now. Look, it's going four miles, four kilometers an hour. Four miles an hour, you see. It's just, it's T, not control T, but you can see right over here just how fast it is not going so compared to just a little bit less just a little bit less of a turn does that much and again it's not like you're going to be driving like that all the time but still things to notice I, I love that I love the jackknife door I really do I so excited to see an actual decent jackknife jack knife door, especially in a Type D. In the ROR, it's uh, unheard of. <laughs> but, um, yeah, this is a pretty solid start yet again from Will. Another uh, thumbs up from me on this one. So, like I said at the beginning of the video, if you have any feedback that you think Will needs to hear out about this, throw it in the comments. Maybe he'll maybe he'll take some of your ideas and run with them. You never know. So, anyways, that's gonna do it for me, guys. Um, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe down below. It's a magical red button that says you're now subscribed to Safety Liner C2. Make sure you comment up here, down here, over here, or over here. I don't know where they put it down and cover they put it. Make sure you also share this video with a friend. Show it to your mom, show it to your dad, show it to a guy on a random street. I don't care, don't get raped. Did I mess that ending up? Yeah. Make sure and also give it a thumbs up. Or, I'm going to keep messing the ending up. Alright. <laughs> That's... That's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching.